Good evening. Um, I'm making a quick video here to see if I can get some help with uh, Fold a Gap. Uh, CSS is Fold a Gap, the battle for the center. Um, this uh, video is directed towards Adam. I'm going to I'm going to post this on the um, Facebook uh, CSS Wargaming page. But this is uh, directed to Adam or anybody that plays a game and understands it well. I'm just trying to get some help, and I've read through all the errata, and I've read through uh, the even the version 2.0 rules. But the I notice the version 2.0 rules don't really get into uh, the questions that I have here, which are primarily about uh, uh, air superiority and air power uh, turns. So uh, I just had a few questions I was going to ask, and uh, if someone could reply, I'd appreciate it. So uh, real quick to start. Um, the first question I have is on the scenario four. What, this is the battle I want to uh, start working on. I'm playing it solo. But I see here that um, in my initial setup, NATO gets uh, Sam Strength starting at five and an AWACS in the AWACS box. Um, then after the 11th Cav activation, place, you know, we, we place this, the next M1 Abrams company and then the M60 company. But then we see that the Sam Strength gets uh, is another five and then another AWACS. And I'm my question, just my first question is, does that mean the Sam Strength doubles from five to ten right at the onset of the of the game? Or and and they get two AWACS aircraft. I, I'm I'm trying to understand if that's the case. Um, and if there's two AWACS aircraft, you only have to put one in the AWACS box, and the other one sits on the airfield. Um, or do they both go in the AWACS box? Anyway, uh, so that's question number one. Um, second question. We're going to go to the actual air combat table here. So here's the air display and my second question is can AWACS be attacked? So I'm gonna set up an example here. I've already I'm gonna just assume some roles. I'm gonna assume that uh, um, NATO won the AWACS um, the AWACS uh, advantage and then they rolled for their uh, packages and that NATO got uh, two two elements for their strike or, uh, fighter sweep they they rolled F16 and were able to choose two of them based on the roll that they that they got and that the um, uh, Soviets rolled for themselves to get a Su24 strike so with these um, assumptions in place the next set of questions is, okay, I'm, uh, I'm, I know that fighters once they're placed, they are on the battlefield. And that's where they, um, they can't move again. They basically fly cap over that position of the battlefield or the approach to the battlefield, or you know even in defense of their own approaches. But now they once once they're placed, I understand that I then do. SAM attacks against them. So in our example here, uh, the Soviets have a four strength SAM value, but uh, because I have it in the Warsaw Pact approach with my fighters, I add three to that, so that becomes a seven. So they need a, they need a seven on the die to uh, or less to um, hit hit or abort my fighters. Again, this is what I'm assuming from the rules because I'll be honest with you the rules don't necessarily state what the target number is for um, surface to air missiles I couldn't find anything in the book it just says against the modified um, uh, the, uh, value okay so that's what my modified that's what I'm assuming my modified value is four SAM strength plus three is seven but it also says here, SAM against fighter sweeps is a minus two, which I then think that it drops me back down to a five. So I need a five or less on the die 
to either abort or eliminate these aircraft. So going back to my previous question, let's assume that I'm right and they have a second AWACS and oh it's not eliminated but it's on the airfield. AWACS on the airfield, AWACS in the air. So um, we you know so then we would roll uh, D10 modify that with a minus two from the F16 gives it a one which is to the way I see it elimination of an aircraft so boom that that F16 would be blown out of the sky again another three boom the other one would be up so based on my dies for die rolls here you know, <laughs> it brings an end to my questions based on my example so let's not assume let's let's assume the the uh, Sam's missed against the two F-16s but I guess to, to add here I'm assuming that is correct though so I assume the SAM strength goes to five I need at least a five or, or less I rolled a three I minus two for the for the um, uh, aircraft's defense value from the die roll so if I rolled an eight let's say or a nine minus two would have been a seven and the if the F-16 wouldn't have been hurt because I needed a five or less. I'm assuming that is how the SAM combat works. And if anybody can chime in and just say, yes, you're right there, that would be great. So once let's assume the F-16s don't get blown away. Here's the first question. So that they're there. Now we do fighter sweeps before any ground strikes can happen because my... NATO forces have AWAC um, advantage, they go first, right? Here's the next question. Can the AWACS aircraft be attacked? I'm assuming so, but I, I, don't, I don't know for sure. So we're going with this assumption that they can, I'm going to slate this um, fighter to the AWACS. And maybe it has to be in this zone. I don't know. Uh, that's there's a question that could be answered. Would be great. But uh, um, fighters have a short and a long range attack strength. The short range attack strength is six. If we're in the same zone, long range is three. So I, I'm going to go with the assumption that the AWACS can be attacked from long range. And here's what I'm assuming it works. So I've got a, 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 a three strength. I need a dice roll, a modified dice roll of three to have a success with an F-16. But because I'm attacking this big lumbering AWACS aircraft, I add plus three to that for six. So six at long range or nine at short range. Um, so I would make my die roll. And if I rolled, boom, a four. Okay, that is uh, six. Uh, that is less. It, it's not less than half. So, with that, the AWACS aircraft would be sent back to the airfield, aborted. It's not eliminated, right? I don't. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what where uh, these aircraft go afterwards. Okay. Um, and if it was eliminated, let's say I got an elimination. It goes in the eliminator box. Does that remove the AWACS capability for the rest of the game for the Warsaw Pact? Just a question. I don't know. Okay, so let's, there's my uh, fighter sweep. So that guy attacks this guy. Um, the other fighter is going to wait until the Sioux Strike comes in. So they're going to hold their attack. I believe that's allowed because when the strike missions begin, as the strike mission goes through different zones, it can be attacked either long range or short range. So this particular fighter here is going to hold its attack for when the Sioux strike launches. So the Su-24s take off. Boom. They fly into here. There's no SAM capability, so I can't attack with NATO SAMs first. That is understandable, but I can't attack with my fighters. At least that's what I understand. All right, so... I 
have a six strength with my F-16s. The defense is a negative three. So the six becomes a three, and I need to roll a D-10, and I get a one. Boom. So that, to me, means that that Su-24 strike is aborted. Yes, correct. Let's say I missed. Once he, and this is a, let's say this is a ground attack. Once, let's say I missed, that means the both these fighters have attacked, so they return to the airfield. Again, assuming. The Su-24 then continues. He moves from here, and now my NATO, my, uh, Sam's, my NATO Sam's can attack, which are, so then they've got a strength of five, uh, minus a two from that, so I need a three or less. Boom, I roll a one. Boom. <laughs> I'm rolling really good tonight. So, boom, the Su-24s are blown out of the sky. They are eliminated, sent back. Let's say they're aborted. Do they go back to the war, to the airfield, and are available the next turn, or this, every time you, you, have an air superiority chip pulled, is it new air packages altogether? Um, or do the uh, previous air packages stay if they're just aborted and sent back to the air? There's, there's another question. Um, but let's say he, he doesn't kill him here. So, if, and, it, and it's not, a, it's not a, a ground support, let's say it's a SAM suppression. Um, and when the for a SAM suppression, it says that they uh, they um, mission must enter the enemy approach to the battlefield box. So that means he's got to go here. So he flies through here. Let's say this is the SAMs miss. I rolled and the SAMs miss. He flies into here now. Do I get another SAM attack? I'm assuming I do because it it just reads like you get for every box it enters, you get a SAM attack. Um, that would be another question. I don't know what question I'm on there. So uh, that's about it. That's about all the questions. Um, is the die roll modifier applied to the, the, the total number to, to roll against or the dice roll against? So uh, back to our, our example here when on the west on the approach here. Um, at close range, I've got a six, and I've got a negative three dice roll defensive value. Does that mean I roll the dice in minus three and look at it against six, or do I multi uh, reduce the six to three and roll the dice and need a three or less? Um, and what about a zero? Does a zero? Let's let's say it's the latter. Let's say I attack here and it, and. Uh, it, you know, you go three is my dice roll goal. Defense value of three, negative three. Three minus three is a zero. So if I roll, I need a zero at the minimum to hurt this Su-24. And even in that, it sounds like it would just be an abort because I can't get half of zero, right? or less than half of zero. So it would just be an abort. So there's the question. Do you roll the dice and subtract the uh, aircraft defense value, or you do you reduce your attack, uh, your, your um, uh, the value to attack that you need to roll, the uh, the long range or the short range attack value. And if that's the case, you do, let's say you, you if you don't subtract it from the attack value, if you do roll a zero, a zero minus three would be a negative three. And that certainly is less than half of the attack value there for an elimination so I, you know that so that I know a zero when you're rolling for air packages a zero is a zero I know when you're rolling for AWACS of um, 
advantage, a zero means that the AWACS is no longer available for that turn. Um, which is kind of weird to me because even if there's no AWACS playing, the NATO player always gets a plus four, I'm assuming for radar coverage um, compared to the Warsaw Pact. But I don't know. There's just it. It just. I'm sorry to say this. This part of the game is very unclear, and I'm I'm just trying to put it all together in a clear, concise way in my head so that I can when the when the air superiority chit is pulled, I can roll through this stuff pretty easily and um, follow my notes. So anyway, thanks for listening. And if you have the time and you watch this video and you have the time to respond to my questions or even to post a video in response with um, how air combat works, that would be fantastic. I looked all over YouTube. Um, there's a lot of unboxings of videos for Fold a Gap. And there's one playthrough of, I think, Scenario 2 but it's all in Russian, so that doesn't help me. Um, anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen to this, and Adam, if you took the time to listen to this and can help me out, I greatly appreciate it. Thanks very much.